Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Darren Taylor. They'll be talking about Troy University's homecoming, an opportunity for alums to come back to campus. And my guest today knows a little bit about alums and uh, getting them involved. Uh, Director of Alumni Affairs, Faith Ward. Faith, always a pleasure to have you. Oh, on always a pleasure to be here. Thank and you. Uh, we're talking about homecoming. Uh, it, obviously, it's probably one of the, if not the biggest event for Alumni Affairs right, uh, right. because it's bringing everybody back. It's a time that alumni know this is when to come back and be a part that's of right, this. So, that's so right. talk about just that's in right. general homecoming and how, how big of a deal this is. Well, it's a huge deal because like you said, all kind of uh, folks get to come back and they want to be with their different organizations, you know, that they were part of during, um, you know, during their days here at Troy. And that kind of makes it a little hard for us to plan things because you've got people going in a thousand different <laughs> directions and it's busy. But we've got a little bit for everybody. So we want that weekend to be complete for everyone and everyone to enjoy uh, coming back, you know, to Troy University. And of course, it is that chance to come back. Right. And, and a lot of time, uh, this may be the only time of year that people come back. So, right, so, right. so why is it so important to, I guess, uh, put on a good face and, and have a good opportunity for, for these alums when they come well, back to campus? Well, like you said, some, some people get in, they get in, the, in their everyday routines and they start having kids of their own and those kind of things. And you, you know all about that, <laughs> uh, new dad that you are. And, and then you have to kind of put, you know, your university on the side burner sometimes. And then you come back and you're amazed at the transformation, you know, that we have made, not just in the building aspect, but, but all across campus in all different aspects. So, of course, we want to put our best foot forward. We want everybody to, to have a campus tour, uh, be involved with all their different groups, get to see the sound of the South, and then, of course, our alumni band comes back, alumni cheerleaders. There's just something for everybody. And homecoming. now there's uh, obviously there's there's also a football game thrown in there for oh, the yeah. next. You know, oh, if, if yeah. you're going to say that, there's a football game there. <laughs> a lot of stuff for, surrounding that. But uh, let's talk about some of the homecoming specific things with the alumni affairs. What are some of the specific non-football associated things that are going on during okay. that during that weekend? Well, of course, so. we have a pet rally on mm -hmm. Friday, and we work in conjunction with our SGA. And we like for our alumni to be able to be involved as well, especially the ones that live close enough to, you know, to come back around the Pike County, Crenshaw County surrounding areas. But then, you know, you've got a lot of people coming in for the weekend. So that gives them something to do with their families. It's family oriented. Um, and then um, on Friday evenings, we also have World War II alumni reunion. We've been having that for many, many years. Mm -hmm. I've been here 18 years and it's been going on, I know, longer than. than and it's a big I've, group. It's a big group, big group. And, um, and so they really enjoy, um, that's about the t only time they see each other during the year. They may stay in contact through email or, you know, phone calls and things mm -hmm. like that, but that's really the only time they get back together. And they just have so much fun with that. And then, of course, we showcase our jazz ensemble during that because back in the day, the Wavemen, <laughs> you know, they had a big jazz mm -hmm. band, so they like to compare themselves, and, and that's fun. We have our Alumni of the Year dinner at the home of Dr. Hawkins, and Mrs. Hawkins is always a gracious hostess for that. Um, and this year, our Alumni of the Year are Max Davis from okay. right here in, in Pike County. and um, Barbara Everett from Dothan, and um, David Marsh, who is out of um, uh, Birmingham area. Okay. And then, of course, our very own, he's on our alumni board, our very own Richard Dowling out of Enterprise, Alabama. All right. And then, of course, there's another award that, that you give out during yes. homecoming as well. Yes. That's a, it's a pretty big deal. So talk about that, That's that, right. that award. Um, that is the Distinguished Leadership Award. Mm -hmm. And that is chosen by the university. Uh, and um, this year, it's Congressman Steve Sutherland. Uh, Congressman Southern is an alum. He is out of the Florida area, and okay. he has a daughter here at, at school. So an opportunity to uh, bring him back and you know, maybe come and see the daughter, but he gets an award, and the daughter gets uh, to see him get the award. So How good is that? And it's his birthday to boot. So. There, oh, well, there you go. It's a, it's a full plate That's for him right. that day. So, That's right. And, and speaking of uh, the homecoming day itself, Saturday, uh, mm -hmm. there, there's uh, in addition to the game, there's some other things for them to get involved with in that day. Talk right, about that. Right. So. Um, uh, for those that I just mentioned, mm -hmm. we have an alumni of the year breakfast mm -hmm. for those folks and our deans and our administrators and and um, and then we get on the bus, take them down to the parade 
No, the parade, Sumner always a big, a big the part. The parade is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Everybody can get involved in the parade. If you're young or old, if you're student groups, you can you can be in the parade or you can be a spectator. But either way, it's great fun. Yeah, and it Every, gets you gets you pumped up for the oh, game. Oh, absolutely! Everybody looks forward to the to the homecoming parade. Of course, it's just a tradition. It is, and then you, you get to hear the sound of the South. It gets you that's in that right. mood and that atmosphere that's right. for it. So, that's right. uh, and of course, the game itself, uh, right. you know, opportunity to 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 be a part and, and come back and see the football team. But, and a lot of tailgating, a lot of reunions. Mm -hmm. Going on, we have this year. We have the, about the Clipson reunion back okay. again, but in conjunction with that Clipson reunion, we will also have the '64 champ, uh, '64 team um, will have their 50th reunion. Okay. And then we have uh, an announcement where we're going to make a little bit later. It's a it's a chapter. Um, it's a baseball chapter, but it's a surprise to the person that's the chapter is going to be named after. Well, so that's something more to, to come on that. On yes. That. Uh, some more exciting stuff right, to come out right. of homecoming Absolutely. there. So, and now, of course, and now if uh, once again, uh, the spot to be for if you're an alumnus and you're looking for an opportunity to get information, they come Tailgate see you at, at the alumni, alumni house. house. So Tailgate where, where can they find house. you? Uh, 100 Highland Avenue, okay. or they can call the office 670-3318. We want them to encourage them to join the Alumni Association prior to being there or as a lifetime member. If you have your lifetime member pin on and you come to the tailgate, we just wave you right on in. All right. uh, or you can show your membership card. You get to eat for free at all of our tailgates, a home and away. Okay. But especially on homecoming day, it's so much fun to run into all your old classmates. Well, uh, One other thing I want to mention yeah. that's going to be fun for mm -hmm. that day is an alumni uh, ball. Okay. It's the evening of homecoming. And tickets are only $25 per person. It's um, tuxedo, you know, okay. evening gown attire. Okay. But you can finish celebrating the rest of homecoming with a, a, a nice end to the day. Well, of course. It sounds like it's going to be mm -hmm. a fun opportunity for everyone involved. And uh, I want to thank you for joining me today and, uh, you. you know, get things going for homecoming. So Go Troy. Uh, go Troy. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.